Su Hao travels through the world of comprehensive martial arts and awakens the apprenticeship system. Accepting apprentices makes one stronger, I dare not even think about it. As long as you recruit and strengthen the main sect, you can receive a system 10,000-fold return reward. So, Su Hao crazily recruited disciples, improved his martial arts cultivation, and strengthened the power of the main sect. Don't cultivate martial arts. He cultivates immortals, not just on the way to recruit disciples. Accept the flame spirit concubine and receive a hundred times critical strike return reward of blue underworld spirit fire. Take in Lihani as a disciple and receive a reward of 10,000 swords returned to the sect for thousands of critical hits. Conquer Yuan Tian Gang and receive a 10,000 fold critical strike return reward of the mortal emperor Root Bone, Yan Lingji. Their little life belongs to my master Su Hao. Li Hani said, Without my master Su Hao, what's the point of being a sword immortal? Yi Hong Yu. Su Xiao's swordsmanship is absolute for eternity. Little woman, please teach me. Yuan Tian Gang said, revitalizing the Tang dynasty, I am willing to bow down to your highness as a bad handsome person. Wang Xianji. Does Su Xiao lack guards? Being a groom is also good. Master. Heaven does not give birth to him, the Houtian Emperor. Swordsmanship will last forever like a long night. Chapter 1 Purple Orchid Pavilion disrupts accounts and awakens the apprenticeship system. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. New book on the road, this book focuses on invincible and cool writing, high martial arts and low mystery, not unfinished, beautiful women like clouds, I travel through time, thank you to all readers for their great support, brain storage area during the warring states period, Xinjiang, South Korea. Purple Orchid Pavilion VIP Room. Waiter, serve the wine. Miss Known You, keep playing the music and keep dancing. Su Hao lifted a bronze wine bottle from the table with one hand and poured it into his mouth, while holding the maid pouring the wine with the other hand. However, his eyes remained fixed on Nong Yu girl. I saw Miss Nong Yu dressed in a yellow dress and glanced slightly at the young man in white across from her. She couldn't bear to take a few more glances and said, Young Master Su, I've been waiting for a long time. I wonder what kind of music you want to listen to. The dandy young master Su Hao raised his lips slightly and deliberately made things difficult, saying, Then let's sing, High Mountains and Flowing Water. Just as he finished speaking, he had pushed aside the maid beside him and sat beside Nong Yu, gently flicking one hand onto the black guchin. Buzz, buzz. With Yu Jiao's body trembling slightly, she instinctively retreated and fell onto the floor. Ah. This is Purple Orchid Pavilion, young master, please take care of yourself. Speaking slowly and quickly, Su Hao hugged Nong Yu Shui Snake Waist with one hand and said, Nong Yu Palace Maiden, why are you nervous? I just want to hear you play the piano, I'm not short of money. Su Hao casually touched his wallet around his waist and found it empty. Damn it! I was taken away by the thief. He pretended to be calm on his face but his heart was filled with panic. Lie down, I just crossed the river and had a domineering meal. I'm dead. I can't let them see it. Su Hao is a traveler. Three months ago, he fell off a cliff while climbing a mountain and unexpectedly encountered a space wormhole, crossing from Blue Star to this world of martial arts. Just after crossing the border, he was mistaken for a young master from a wealthy family who had just fled. He inherited the landlord's family's extraordinary wealth by chance, but they were not much worse than Su Hao's recent defeat at the Purple Orchid Pavilion. It was also in the Purple Orchid Pavilion, a place where fish and dragons were mixed, that he learned about this world of martial arts. This is a new world that combines the nine songs of the heavenly journey, the bad man, the youth song, the snow, and the night. It is also the world of classic martial arts such as Jin Yong, Gu Long, Liang Yusheng, and Huang Yi. There is the Tang dynasty here. Unhealthy handsome Yuan Tian Gang wields chess throughout the world. Li Siyuan from Tunguen Hall is ambitious. 
The Empress of Huanin Fang is in charge of Qi Kingdom. There was also a chaotic battle among the feudal lords during the Warring States period. In the Great Qin Dynasty, there were many experts from the sword Saint Gai Nia and the Yin Yang family. South Korea has the four nightfall generals, experts in flowing sands, as well as the Baiyue experts Tianzi and the fire playing beauty Yan Lingji. The state of Yan was led by the M.O. family under the leadership of Prince Dan. Yan Fei had not yet married, and Xiao Siming was still a child. North of the imperial court, there are countless experts in Snow Moon City, and Li Hani has not yet apprenticed to Li Changsheng. In the Ming Dynasty, Ximin Chue Xue and Yi Guqing had not yet reached the summit of the Forbidden City for a decisive battle, Chu Liuxiang was still picking up girls, and the invitation to the moon in the Flower Palace had not yet been killed by Jiang Yuyan. The Dao Qi Yi Hong Yu from Xiling is still a perfect body, the master is still wandering around the world, and Hao Tian is still in the mortal world. During the Song Dynasty, Little Dragon Lady had not yet become a Dragon Knight. During the Liang Dynasty, Wang Xianji initially claimed to be the second in the world. It seems like everything has just begun. Su Hao also understood that there are six levels of martial arts cultivation in this world. From low to high, they are postnatal, innate, master, great master, land deity, and immortal immortality. Each realm is further divided into four levels, namely early stage, middle stage, late stage, and peak stage. Above the six realms is the supreme immortal emperor. Those who can reach such a cultivation level will transform into immortals, dominate for eternity, live together with heaven and earth, and shine together with the sun and moon. Hmm, what do you mean, young Master Su? I just came to my purple orchid pavilion not long ago and started bullying my maid. Aren't you treating me, the boss lady, seriously? Hear the sound of someone you haven't seen before. I don't know when the concealed door will open, but a woman in purple clothes appears behind Su Hao in a transformation. She had purple hair tied in her hair, her skin was as smooth as cream, and beneath her beauty was a chill, her eyes captivating. Lotus steps lightly move, her proud figure is particularly eye-dot-catching, and I wish I could take a second look. Even getting close to her and listening to her speak is a pleasure. This woman is the owner of Purple Orchid Pavilion, and also the beauty that Su Hao has always been longing for. Su Hao regained his senses, his tiger body trembled, and a smile appeared on his handsome face. Boss, look at what you said, I'm wrongly accused. I didn't study music with Miss Nongyu. Do you believe me? The pressure was on Nongyu, and her face turned red, making her unable to speak for a moment. Zi Nu glanced at her and said, To be honest with Nongyu, Su Xiao is speaking seriously. Nongyu tightened her small hand and nodded slightly, biting her lips and saying, Young Master Su said well. Su Hao took good care of Nongyu, and every time he came to Purple Orchid Pavilion, he would point at her and give her a lot of tips. If it weren't for his intervention just now, he would probably have had a broken face. Zi Nu saw the little girl's thoughts and glanced at Su Hao, okay, I'm wrong about Su Xiao, but could you please settle last month's account first? By the way, there's also today's wine money. It is indeed here to ask for the account. Su Hao didn't blush or jump, patted his chest and said, how much money is it? I don't lack this money at all. At this point, even if you don't have money, you still have to suppress the situation. He was still thinking about finding his wallet and the lost jade pendant in his heart. If he could find it, it would be enough to pay. Zi Nu calmly sat across from Su Hao and poured herself a glass of wine. She looked up and down at the young man in white before her, but couldn't see any silver or two. The only thing that could be valuable is Su Hao's luxurious attire, which is made of high dot quality silk. Oh, Su Xiao is so generous, then give me the money. Purple girl reached out and said. Two burly men followed behind, who were the guards of Purple Orchid Pavilion. Moreover, Su Hao knew that there was another expert in Purple Orchid Pavilion who could see the head but not the tail, and he was Wei Zhuang. Su Hao still calmly took a sip of the wine and said, 
boss, why don't we keep the records today? The purple girl casually sucked the red practice sword into her hand, gently shaking it. The red and white red practice sword broke through the air and shot out, like a venomous snake winding around Su Hao's body. He doesn't know martial arts, so he was completely bound by the red practice sword that was launched before he could resist. Kid, my purple orchid pavilion account is not that bad. Either I'll send you to the government or I won't have to pay off the debt with your life. As Zi Nu spoke, she sat down on the table with her buttocks, grabbed Su Hao's shoulder with one hand, pressed her face against her, and supported his chin with the other hand. The cold red practice sword was extremely sharp, and Su Hao could easily pierce his skin with just a slight movement. For the sake of safety, I can only temporarily admit it. It's worth dying to still have such close contact with the beautiful woman. Su Hao was not intimidated by the aura of the purple maiden, but instead pretended to be calm and smiled, who said I don't have money. I have a heirloom jade pendant in my arms, and the landlady has the ability to take it herself. In fact, he wanted to take a gamble and seize the opportunity to break free from constraints and kidnap the purple girl as a hostage. Come and touch the jade pendant on his body, let me see what tricks he's up to. Purple girl grabbed Su Hao's chin, but was attracted by the handsome young man in front of her. Not good. No Mew said shyly. Zi Nu casually released Su Hao with a pat, and the Qi Lian sword contracted into her hand while reaching out to his chest. You're lying to me, where's the jade pendant? At this moment, Su Hao seized the opportunity to grab Zi Nu's arm and tried to strangle her neck with the other hand. Unexpectedly, Purple Girl dodged Su Hao's surprise attack while grabbing his arm with the other hand. Bastard, you still want to hijack this seat. Believe it or not, I'll kill you. Ah, it hurts, the boss misunderstood me. If you don't believe me, feel it yourself. Su Hao said calmly. The purple girl stared at the special black dragon pattern on Su Hao's arm and took a cold breath. Are you from the Iron Blood League? She recognized the special mark of the Iron Blood League at a glance, and surprisingly, it was still a black dragon pattern, with a high status in the Iron Blood League. The white-haired boy with half a face exposed outside the door waved his head slightly and gave a glance to the purple girl. The two of them understood that the young man in front of them was still hiding his identity. This person is either rich or noble, and they cannot afford to offend Xilin Xian. Su Hao followed the purple girl's gaze and glanced over, Wei Zhuang, why did he come? I was puzzled inside, but the white-haired boy outside had disappeared out of thin air. As a traveler, Su Hao is also aware of the existence of the Iron Blood Alliance in the Nine Songs of the Heavenly Journey. A mysterious and powerful organization, just like the Trap Killer organization, hearing this name is chilling. The power of the Iron Blood Alliance is different from that of the Trap. The Trap is a killer organization of the Qin State, while the Iron Blood Alliance is an organization spread throughout the Seven Heroes of the Warring States period. Su Hao was not even aware that his original host had a connection with the Iron Blood Alliance. This saved my life. What Iron Blood League? I don't even know what you're talking about. Su Hao pretended to be confused and said. Zi Nu hugged Su Hao's shoulder, pressed her face against her, and said with a gentle tone, Death is inevitable, but life is inevitable. If you are really a member of the Iron Blood Alliance, then let them use the money to repay the money. However, from today on, you can work as a laborer in my Purple Orchid Pavilion to repay the money. Su Hao heard that he had a background in the Iron Blood Alliance, and he became a bit stubborn. Taking the opportunity, he hugged the purple girl's water snake waist and said, It's a deal. I'll stay in your purple orchid pavilion for a few days at least. Don't let go yet, don't you want your little life anymore? Purple girl said with a hint of blush and coquettishness on her cold face. After a moment, Su Hao was escorted down by two burly sweaters, who said he was going to be locked in a firewood shed for reflection. As Su Hao was about to leave, he glanced at the white-haired boy Wei Zhuang by the window. The man he looked up to. The world of martial arts values strength, 
and now he is just an ordinary person who can be killed anytime, anywhere. At this moment, he wants to become stronger, want to learn martial arts, and become a strong person. Bang! Suhao was pushed into the firewood room by two big men and locked up. Kid, go in and dare to touch our boss's wife. I haven't even touched her before. How dare you take action? He heard a mechanical sound in his ear. Ding, the system has detected the host's subjective intention to become stronger. You have obtained the apprenticeship system, do you want to activate it? Chapter 2 Rewards, start with the Grand Master. You are listening at Novel Full Audio. System. Still the apprenticeship system. The golden finger has been credited to the account. Su Hao also often reads online novels, and he is very familiar with the golden finger system. Isn't it just cheating? Pay attention to him, wake up the system first. It's better to have something than nothing. Activate the system. Ding, congratulations to the host for successfully activating the apprenticeship system, Zhu Hao found a broken stool to sit on in the firewood room, and a bright virtual interface appeared before his eyes. And the virtual interface of this system can only be seen by oneself. He casually swiped the interface to see what functions the apprenticeship system had. The system interface is simpler. System Introduction Introduce the detailed functions of the system. Personal Panel Host Personal Information Interface Apprenticeship Task The current apprenticeship task in Progress, App Store. Obtain System Reward Storage Space. Other Other Unopened System Functions Su Hao first clicked on, System Introduction, and the apprenticeship system is very simple, supporting manual input in stream of consciousness operation. The system will randomly detect apprentices, and only those with a talent value of 90 points or above can be listed as apprentices, with a maximum score of 100 points. The host can choose whether to execute the apprenticeship task based on the detection results. Refusal will not result in any punishment, and there will be no reward for task failure. The system determines that the success criteria for accepting apprentices are the establishment of a master-disciple relationship by the host, successful teaching of martial arts, or gift of treasures and other benefits. The 10,000-fold return critical strike reward is also random, and it is not possible to receive 10,000-fold rewards by accepting apprentices. The higher the talent value, the higher the probability of obtaining a 10,000-fold reward. Su Hao has a general understanding of the system functions, isn't it just that accepting apprentices can make it stronger? Although he doesn't have any martial arts skills now, Su Hao's goal is to become the strongest in the world beyond the six realms. There are very few powerful land immortals in the world, and even fewer immortal beings who have ascended to the heavenly gate are known as the great immortals of longevity. Legend has it that the supreme immortal emperor has not yet appeared. Su Hao is going to be the first person in history, he is going to become the man of the supreme immortal emperor. He found a few sticks of firewood and burned a pile of firewood with an oil lamp. I'm still a bit hungry while studying the system while grilling. Opening the personal panel again, there was almost no space except for the name and personal information. Su Hao thought that he didn't know martial arts yet, so this system had to recruit disciples on its own, or just recruit geniuses. Isn't this for fun? That genius would worship himself as his teacher. Are you going to bluff and deceive? Su Hao asked curiously, System, didn't you get a gift package for killing newcomers? Ding, yes, the beginner gift package has been received. Please check it carefully. That's pretty good, I hope you can give me some treasure. Su Hao couldn't wait to open the newcomer gift package and stared intently at the virtual interface. Ding, congratulations to the host for obtaining the divine skill. Sacred Heart Technique. Ding, congratulations to the host for obtaining the lightness skill. Zongi Ascending Immortal Step. Ding, congratulations to the host for obtaining the ultimate skill. Full Level Disguise Technique. Ding, Congratulations to the host for obtaining the elixirs. 
Wash Marrow Pill, the Juan Pill, Ding, congratulations to the host for obtaining an opportunity to open up the entire body's meridians, Ding, congratulations to the host for obtaining the mount. Fire Kirin, Ding, congratulations to the host for obtaining 5,000 tails of gold, Suhao listened to the system reward, he was greedy. The whole person couldn't stop drooling. The system has given too much, right? First, let's talk about the pill wash marrow pill. After taking the pill, he transformed and began to cultivate immortality by hearing his name. In fantasy novels, Shi Sui Dan is a type of elixir of vitality, mainly used to cleanse impurities from the body, enhance the body's roots and potential. Besides, this De Huan Dan, the system shows that it is a pill containing 60 years of skill. If you take it, you'll get 60 years of skill for nothing. The thing of skill does not mean that you can cultivate it for many years just by living for a long time. Ordinary people can only practice a palm for more than a decade, and they will never cross the barrier of the master's realm. And some talented individuals, in their twenties or thirties, with various sect resources, can easily obtain decades of skill. Suhao also received systematic support, starting with sixty years of skill. I don't know how much skill he can absorb, and to what extent can he break through. Lightness skills include the divine heart technique and the divine heart technique. Isn't this the peerless lightness skill and martial arts of the millennium old monster emperor Shi Tian in the wind and clouds? After more than a thousand years of accumulation, Emperor Shi Tian has learned countless divine skill secrets, including lightness skills. He spent hundreds of years creating the holy heart technique, which includes a part about lightness skills called Zongyi ascending immortal steps. This cultivation technique can reduce the ground to an inch, allowing one to stroll freely in a leisurely courtyard, feeling ethereal and terrifying. The unparalleled lightness skill of ascending to immortality on foot looks like a leisurely and ethereal stroll, while others don't think it's too fast. In fact, it's almost like shrinking to an inch, even faster than the speed of sound. It's just surrounded by true qi, expelling the air, so there won't be any sound barriers or even strong winds. The sacred heart technique was created by Emperor Shi Tianhua, who spent thousands of years integrating martial arts from various schools and the characteristics of phoenix blood, creating an unparalleled divine skill. It can make the owner immortal and resurrect the deceased, and also includes several eerie attack moves, including the four calamities of the Holy Heart. The Four Wonders of Sacred Heart Cold Sky, Xian Ice, Ten Thousand Ren's Piercing Clouds, and Emperor's Thunder. Among them, one Ren pierces through the clouds, turns ice into a blade, and rushes straight into the sky, able to penetrate the clouds and emerge. There is also Emperor's Thunder, which transforms ice into thunder and attacks the enemy's body, exploding like thunder. The Four Sacred Heart Calamities Shocking Eye Calamity, Evil Blood Calamity, Heavenly Heart Calamity, and Killing God Calamity. Shocking Eye Robbery Using Icy Cold Gaze to Capture the Soul, Killing with One Glance. Evil Blood Calamity Using Blood to Attract Blood, Manipulating the Blood on the Ground, causing the opponent to exhaust their blood and die. Tianqin Jie Using one's own heart to lead the enemy's heart, controlling the enemy's mind, and causing the opponent's heart to crack. Killing God Robbery Using the original spirit as a weapon, attacking enemies with one's own original spirit, and the original spirit leaving the body to kill invisibly. Mount the Fire Chilin, it sounds very cool. I don't know if it's the fire Chilin from Lingyun Cave. It might be a bit fierce, but Su Hao is still a bit excited. The knowledge of this full level disguise technique is also a necessary skill for wandering the martial arts world. Many times, it is not possible to present oneself to others, so disguise techniques are necessary to conceal one's identity. Finally, Su Hao saw the one dot time service provided by the system to connect the entire body's meridians. Su Hao didn't dare to delay either. He sat cross legged on this clean wooden board, with his hands protecting the Dantian. He took a deep breath and closed his eyes to rest. The system signs for rewards, come on, 
help me connect my entire body's meridians. Ding, congratulations to the host for successfully signing for the new gift package, system preparation in progress, distributing rewards to help the host unblock the entire body meridians, buzz, buzz. A burst of golden light burst out from the firewood room, and the energy breath followed from the sky, penetrating Su Hao's body. Accompanied by a tremor of his tiger body, he shuddered and was enveloped in a golden energy cyclone. Su Hao's mouth twitched slightly, feeling a warm current flowing through his body, scorching hot, accompanied by a surge of blood. The bones of the whole body creaked due to the energy cyclone enveloping it, and the blood flowing in the blood vessels was boiling. There is a feeling of crispy, tingling, and electric shock, as well as a bit sour and refreshing, making people addicted to it and unable to extricate themselves. That feeling lasted for more than ten seconds before disappearing, and the whole thing was transparent. Ding, the system has already opened up the entire body meridians for the host, without hesitation, Suhao casually took out a marrow washing pill given by the system and gave it to his mouth. I'll go, this marrow washing pill still has a mint flavor, just like chewing gum. When he opened his big hand, another big pill appeared in his hand and he poured it into his mouth. What kind of flavor is so strong, it's as stimulating as beetle nut. After taking two pills, Su Hao felt a sudden sensation of cold and heat throughout his body, and something was about to be sucked out of his body. Su Hao lowered his head and looked at the dirt on his pure white arm, slowly sucking it out at a visible speed. At the same time, the bones and muscles throughout the body are baptized, giving a feeling of rebirth. This is the divine effect of the wash marrow pill. Although this world of martial arts does not have the spiritual energy of the cultivation world, it is not difficult for Su Hao to cultivate immortality through martial arts. The efficacy of Shisui Dan and Dahuan Dan are almost simultaneously applied. I saw a continuous stream of energy and aura flowing through Su Hao's meridians, slowly converging in the sea of Dantian Qi. True energy flows like a trickle through his meridians, flowing like flowing water and converging into the sea of Dantian Qi. Su Hao raised his hand slightly, took a deep breath, then restrained his breath and slowly opened his eyes. It's done. His martial arts cultivation has also skyrocketed invisibly. The peak of the day after tomorrow. Congenital mid-term. Innate peak. In the early days of the Grand Master. In the early days of the Great Master. Ding, congratulations to the host for reaching the early stage of the great master, sixty years of skill is indeed different. At the beginning, it was the great master, and this wave took off directly. Chapter 3 Playing Jade to Send Warmth, Purple Girl is Bullied You are listening at NovelFull.audio The system is meaningful enough, not only has the Ren and Du Meridians been connected, but the entire body's meridians have also been connected. The wash marrow pill has been used. De Huandan also ate it. Shidi has 60 years of martial arts skills, directly breaking through from a young boy who doesn't know martial arts to a great master. You should know that the sword god Gai Nye is also a great master, and he is in the later stage of the great master. His junior brother Wei Zhuang, who is a master hidden in the Purple Orchid Pavilion, is only in the middle stage of the Grand Master. Su Hao started as a great master, but later on, he didn't know what terrifying level his martial arts cultivation would reach. By accepting apprentices, one can become stronger. He is now a great master and has the qualifications and strength to accept apprentices. However, this disciple is difficult to find. The system requires a talent value of 90 points or above, making it difficult to find disciples with such exceptional talents. Su Hao doesn't have time to think about these things. Let's sign for the Divine Skill, Sacred Heart Technique, and the Light Skill, Ascending Immortal Step, first. System, sign for rewards such as the Sacred Heart Technique and the Ascending Immortal Step. Ding! Received successfully a series of golden texts appeared before Su Hao's eyes, beginning to be messy and disorganized. With a tremble in his body, he seemed to see the texts arranged in an orderly manner and flying into his own eyes. 
That is the sacred heart technique, martial arts, mind method, and mouth technique. Not only did he have a mental technique mnemonic, but he also seemed to see a phantom casting various moves in Su Hao's divine consciousness. This is all the moves of the sacred heart technique. That move turned into a phantom and penetrated into Su Hao's body, and all the moves of the sacred heart technique came to mind. Hush. So powerful martial arts, is this the sacred heart technique? Su Hao looked at his hands excitedly and said. At the same time, as he lightly stepped on the ground, his body floated up like a ghost, walking in the air, and his whole body was as light as a swallow. Su Hao finally adapted to this lightness skill and jumped up effortlessly, soaring above the sky in a moment. This is the Zongi ascending immortal step, so the feeling of lightness skills is like this. Dong Dong Dong. Did you sleep, young Master Su? I made jade. When Su Hao returned to the firewood room, he heard someone knocking on the door, which was still a familiar sound. Miss Nongyu, come in. Squeak. The door of the firewood room was halfway open, and Nongyu looked around and squeezed in, looking flustered and afraid of being discovered. She boldly walked up to Su Hao and sat down on a clean bench, Young Master Su, I'm here to save you, it's all because I hurt you. Nongyu thought that Su Hao had spent all his savings for her, just to listen to him play the piano, and felt very guilty in her heart. Moreover, under the constant interaction, I have already developed a liking for the young man in front of me. I don't mind him not knowing martial arts, just because I can't forget him. After listening to Su Hao's story again, Nongyu knew that he, like herself, had lost his father. At least he still has a mother, but Su Hao has no family and often borrows alcohol to relieve his worries. Su Hao knew that Nongyu had misunderstood. He was really penniless before being locked up by Zenu. However, at this moment, seeing a woman actually come to rescue him was truly touching. Because I like this girl, I cannot implicate her. Su Hao's blush. He grabbed Nuoyu's hand and walked out. I'm not going. Go quickly, Xiaoyu. Don't worry, I'm fine. Previously, people used to call them jade-making girls, but now they call them little jade directly. The first time a man grabbed her hand, her delicate body trembled slightly, and a rosy glow appeared on her pretty face, afraid to look up at the young man in front of her. This title changes too quickly. He is too skilled. Nongyu regained her senses and dragged Su Hao down, saying, I'm not leaving. They're bringing you food. She casually took out half of the roasted duck from her arms, still wrapped in paper and even hot. This is not over yet. Nongyu took out another money bag from her waist and handed it to Su Hao. You can take this money, it should be enough to pay for Xilin Xian's debts, she said, someone's here, I'll leave first. Nong Yu broke free from Su Hao's clutches and sneaked away. Su Hao took the heavy bag of silver with a big hand, and before he could react, the little beauty had already disappeared. He is in a mess. I didn't expect Nong Yu to sacrifice so much. The money seems to be her private money. With such a heart, Su Hao was moved and cried. He didn't move a penny of this money and left it for Nong Yu. I don't need money now. The 5,000 tails of gold provided by the system can be taken out and used anytime, anywhere. What he is thinking now is to repay the debt owed by Purple Orchid Xian first, and then find a way to accept the apprentice. It's not difficult to find someone with exceptional talent who is the target of the apprenticeship. Purple Orchid Pavilion has such a genius. Wei Zhuang should be counted as one. However, as a disciple of the Ghost Valley sect, it is impossible for him to apprentice to Su Hao. Besides, he is also a great master in terms of strength, one rank higher than Su Hao's great master in the early stage, which is the middle stage of the great master. Don't be fooled by just one rank difference, in fact, after entering the grand master, if you want to make further progress, you cannot break through with hard work, but you also need opportunities. After becoming a great master, how many geniuses can never break through a certain level in their lifetime? 
one level higher is a completely overwhelming existence. To surpass and kill the strong, one must have some magical weapons or means to achieve unexpected victories. Su Hao thought of taking in the disciple Zi Nu and making Jade again. Zi Nu followed Wei Zhuang and is still her own creditor. It is not realistic to take her as an apprentice. As for Miss Nongyu, Su Hao is having a hard time getting started again. After asking for warmth and comfort just now, he still feels a bit uncomfortable. Purple Orchid Pavilion won't let anyone go either. Su Hao fell into contemplation and said, the first time you take in an apprentice, you still have to be a genius. It's definitely better to give charcoal in the snow. You have to be a beauty anyway. Beauty. He thought of Yen Lingji, who was imprisoned in the dungeon. Saving her is like sending charcoal in the snow. It's not unreasonable to take her as a disciple then. Mainly the flame spirit Ji Ta Xiang. That's settled. Su Hao slapped casually, and his true energy converged and hit the door. Bang bang. With a loud bang, a young man in white clothes flew out and headed straight upstairs to the Purple Orchid Pavilion. Purple Girl looked out the window as a phantom flashed by. When she turned around, Su Hao had already arrived at her. How did you? How did you come up, kid? Zi Nu knew there were guards at the door, but she didn't hear any movement. That phantom was you just now. What's going on? The boss doesn't welcome me, Ben Xiao. Then I won't pay back this money. Su Hao said provocatively, hugging the purple woman's snake waist. Su Xiao Lai didn't notify me to repay the money, I just had someone come to pick it up. The purple girl tried to struggle, but couldn't move. There was a powerful force that completely restrained her, and that aura of pressure made Purple Girl afraid to act recklessly. Oh, this is five hundred tails of gold, which I can give back to you, Purple Orchid Pavilion. The Purple Girl's face was confused. Su Xiao is so generous. I don't know what she is doing. Where did he get so much money? A few hours ago, when taking him to the woodshed, the guards did not find any money on him. The only explanation is the Iron Blood Alliance. Could it be that the Iron Blood Alliance sent him money? Zi Nu knows the power of the Iron Blood Alliance and provides guarantees for anyone in the Seven Kingdoms, never lacking money. Su Hao leaned against his face and blew a soft breath in Zi's ear. So, what does Zina think about me doing odd jobs in Xilin Pavilion? Ah uh huh, Su Xiao is joking. What kind of purple orchid pavilion worker? Now you are my purple orchid pavilion VIP. Zi Nu suppressed her anger and smiled on the surface, but she had already wanted to kill this bastard in her heart. He dares to touch her snake waist, has he gotten used to it? Su Hao casually patted and took out 500 gold coins. There's one thing I'm not sure about. I'll ask Miss Z for her help. This is the reward. Is that your attitude of asking for help? Purple Girl glared at his dishonest hand and said. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm used to it. Su Hao said without blushing or jumping. Speak up, right. Su Hao smiled slightly at the corner of his mouth and said, Do you know where the invisible prison where Xinjing imprisons serious criminals is? As soon as these words were spoken, Purple Girl immediately became alert and said, Su Xiao, why do you inquire about this place? Thinking of the identity of the young Iron Blood Alliance in front of her, ZNV believed that this matter was not simple. Su Hao picked up the wine bottle on the table and didn't care if it was Zinu who had drunk it before, so he went straight ahead and said, Don't worry, I'm not doing anything else, I'm just trying to save my disciple. Zinu looked at the wine she had drunk being snatched, feeling unhappy in her heart. He didn't pay attention to these details, because from Su Hao's extraordinary skills just now, it can be seen that his strength is above himself. This sense of oppression comes from the strength of the Great Master. This kind of pressure only exists in front of Wei Zhuang, and Su Hao's aura is even more terrifying than Wei Zhuang's. He appeared to be smiling on the surface, seemingly expressionless, but he concealed such extraordinary strength. 
The identity of the Iron Blood Alliance has made her hesitant to act recklessly, and now being held by Su Hao, she is powerless. She was shocked. I didn't expect Su Xiao to hide his martial arts cultivation. Who is your disciple? Su Hao's mouth curved slightly upwards and he said, She is a beautiful woman who likes to play with fire. Have Yen Lingji heard of her? Flame Spirit Ji. Is it your disciple from Baiyue? Maybe it's related to the four evil generals of the Night Curtain. Of course, the intelligence collected by Xenu has heard of this flame spirit concubine, who is a subordinate of Prince Tianzi of Baiyue. Before Purple Girl could react, Su Hao had already disappeared. A familiar voice came from the air, Thank you, Purple Girl. Chapter 4 Teasing Flame Spirit G, You Are Playing With Fire You are listening at Novel Full Dot Audio Su Hao disguised himself as the Grand General Ji Wuya, and learned from Bai Yifei's subordinates that the prison where Yen Lingji was imprisoned was in the western suburbs. After learning this news, he changed his appearance and disguised himself as the King of Han and went to the western suburb prison. This is an abandoned mansion, and the hidden prison is not on the ground, but hidden underground. Su Hao was stopped by a group of guards at the entrance of the tunnel. They recognized it as the King of Han, and naturally let Bai Yifei in with his warrant. There is still such a place in Xinjiang that I have never known for the first time. If it weren't for the blood-clothed Marquis saying there are beauties here, I wouldn't even want to come. The leading general immediately thought of the stunning beauty flame spirit Ji inside the water prison. I didn't expect the blood-clothed Marquis to offer this beauty to the King of Han. They are still reluctant to part ways with these guards. Your Majesty, come with me. The beauty that the Marquis intends to offer to His Majesty is probably the flame spirit concubine. Oh, there are really beautiful women. Quickly lead me in and take a look. Su Hao swaggered into the underground prison, which was paved with bluestone slabs and pitch black. He barely leaned against the torches on the wall to see the way forward. The security here is strict, and all of them are guarded by Bai Yifei's henchmen. If it weren't for seeing Bai Yifei's orders, they wouldn't have let go at all. Under the leadership of the leading centurion, King Han effortlessly passed through numerous levels and arrived at a large water tank. A square water tank that is four or five meters high, with walls made of top dot quality glass. You can see every move inside from the outside, but the people inside cannot see outside. At a glance, Su Hao saw a beautiful woman swimming around like a mermaid inside the crystal. I saw several ribbons on her body covering key areas, and the rest of her body was visible at a glance. Her snow dot white skin is crystal clear like jade. Her black hair is graceful and charming, her water snake waist is impeccable, and her long legs sway like a mermaid's tail. Her jade hands lay on the wall, looking out with a hint of sadness in her eyes, and her pink lips pressed against the transparent glass, wanting to breathe the fresh air outside. The devilish figure is mesmerizing, and the angelic appearance is even more captivating. Is this the legendary peak beauty of Chinese manga, Yen Lingji? She is really beautiful. So seductive. Su Hao admitted that he was tempted, and at this moment, even the disguised King Han was staring blankly. What an impossible thing, I still pity it when I see it. The centurion waved and shouted, Someone, open this crystal door. The king wants to take away the beauty inside. The guard at the back also drooled and panicked, Your Majesty, I've thought twice. This woman's fire charm technique is so enchanting that I'm afraid letting her out will harm you. Don't worry, I'll have my own clever plan. The centurion casually moved the mechanism on the wall. Following the gushing of red liquid from the outlet above the crystal box, the red liquid spread from top to bottom, and the entire crystal began to diffuse red liquid. The flame spirit G in the water was just swimming happily. After inhaling the red liquid, she began to lose her mobility and slowly fell down, struggling in pain underwater. Wow! The outlet of the water tank has been opened. Soon, the water level inside the crystal began to decrease at a visible speed to the naked eye. 
After a while, Yan Lingji was exposed to the air. The centurion also opened the crystal door, watching the beauties lying on the ground motionless, and could only watch them helplessly. King, let me take him out. The centurion approached with a narrowed expression on his face. No need, I'll do it myself. You guys go open the door. Before he could even take action, Su Hao had already taken off his red cloak and covered the flame spirit Qi. Fortunately, he didn't leave and was blocked by Su Hao. Yan Lingji heard that this man was the king of Han and looked up at the middle dot aged man, feeling grateful at this moment. But she knew that this middle dot aged man was not a good person either, he just wanted to own her body alone. The king of Han wrapped his cloak around the flame spirit lady and casually picked up the beauty with the princess's embrace. All right, you all stay. I'm going back to enjoy the beauty, he said, King, take your time. The centurion escorted Su Hao, who was disguised as King Han, to the entrance of the tunnel, feeling a bit curious. Where did their king come from with such great strength? He held on to the beauty all the way without blushing or panting. The quality of this corpse is not comparable to that of ordinary people. Yan Lingji lay obediently in the arms of King Han without speaking, until after leaving the dungeon, she saw the moon and starry sky in the sky and murmured softly. Who the hell are you? Why did you save me and not let me down? As expected, she was a smart woman who discovered that King Han was pretending. Su Hao stopped pretending and said, When did you start doubting me? He he, you guys are all the same. Yen Lingji lay in his arms and smiled. This sentence confused Su Hao. He carefully realized that he had not revealed any flaws. How did Yen Lingji find out that he was not the king of Han? This woman is not only a beauty, but also a smart beauty. If ordinary people cannot grasp the beauty of flame spirit Qi, his Su Hao casually tore off the human skin mask on his face, revealing his handsome and graceful face. It seems that my disguise technique has been exposed, he said Yan Lingji looked up at the young man in front of her, but she was somewhat fascinated by it. Lying in Su Hao's arms, she blushed and didn't expect to be rescued by a handsome young man. I admit that your disguise technique can be mistaken for real, but your heartbeat is not right. It's not the heartbeat of an old man in his sixties or seventies, it's more like a teenage boy's heart in full bloom. Careless, who let you, the beauty, move around in your arms? I'm not a saint, who can control me? Hee <laughs> hee, this kid won't be his first time, so he doesn't have much experience. Yen Lingji stared into Su Hao's eyes with a proud smile. Originally, just now Yen Lingji was sticking to Su Hao's chest and listening to his heartbeat. I clearly felt the man holding me nervous. My palms are sweating. How could he have never touched a woman if he were King Han? And the look in his eyes when he just covered himself with a cloak was full of pity. So Yen Lingji believes in her own judgment, he is not the King of Han at all. What I don't know now is who the teenager is. Why did he save himself? Su Hao felt anxious as he saw through his thoughts. However, he knew he couldn't accept it now and wanted to give this clever beauty some color to see. So, casually pinching Yan Lingji's shoulder, he pressed his face and said, You're right. This is my first time trying. Aren't you afraid that I'll go through the motions? Yan Lingji's delicate body trembled slightly, trying to struggle, but she had no strength and could only be manipulated. She's panicking. Wait, have something to say. Sister, I can promise you some benefits. Tell me what you want. Su Hao dragged down Yen Lingji's chin and smiled slightly at the corner of his mouth, hee hee, are you afraid? The two of them got closer and closer, their eyes facing each other. She breathed quickly and blushed with embarrassment. Yen Lingji grabbed Su Hao's arm tightly, closed her eyes, and shouted, Ah, no. Things didn't happen as she had imagined. Su Hao just kissed him on the face and then let her go. Yen Lingji suddenly became coquettish and angry, Bastard, what have you done to me, you rascal? She clenched her fists and felt helpless, 
because at this moment, her life was in the hands of the young man in front of her. Su Hao is not as conservative as the comprehensive martial arts world as a time traveler, but he has decided to take responsibility. All right, you just asked Ben Xiao what he wanted, and I actually thought of it. All right, you worship me as your teacher. Yan Lingji covered her chest and tightly grabbed Su Hao's cloak, afraid to let go. She looked bewildered and said, Ah. Master. Do you want me to be your disciple? Mm, what's wrong? Doesn't it look like that? Su Hao stared at Yan Lingji and said, If you want me to become a disciple, unless you promise me something. Yan Lingji wanted to stabilize Su Hao first, as her strength had slowly begun to recover. Upon hearing that she was going to agree to become a disciple, Su Hao excitedly grabbed Yan Lingji's little hand. At this time, it's not a big deal to become a teacher. The main thing is to have a beautiful woman as a companion, which feels like a kind of enjoyment. At this moment, Su Hao was still reminiscing about the kiss he had just given. Don't say anything, a hundred things are not a problem. Okay, when you come over, I'll tell you something. Oh, it's quite mysterious, Su Hao couldn't control the seductive look in Yan Lingji's eyes just as Su Hao came up close, a burst of flames surged in front of him. Yan Lingji casually threw two fireballs at Su Hao and said, My request is to send you to the West. Chapter 5 The Anger of the Blood Clothed Marquis You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. I saw the fireball spraying out and rushing towards Su Hao to kill him. There is no doubt that one will die soon. He smiled slightly at the corner of his mouth and said, You want to play with fire, right? I want to see what other means you have. In Su Hao's hand, a white true chi converged and transformed into an ice-sealed barrier to block the attack of the flame spirit G Fire Snake. At the same time, as he spread out his hands, he shouted loudly, the second move of the Sacred Heart Technique, Xian Bing Ju. I saw his true chi gathering in his hand to form a sword, which appeared in a blink of an eye next to Yan Lingji. His ice sword was placed around her neck and he said, you lost. Yan Lingji didn't expect the young man's martial arts cultivation level to be so incredible. His speed is so fast. This is the oppression of the great master. Master, I lost. Yan Lingji grabbed the blade in Su Hao's hand with one hand, I can worship you as my teacher, but you promise to help me save someone. The ice blade in Su Hao's hand shattered instantly, and the evil spirit smiled and said, Good disciple, the person you want to save is your Prince Baiyue, right? Yan Lingji looked shocked and didn't expect to be seen through by him. Who exactly is this man? He has such supernatural powers. You're right, you can ask me to become a disciple, but you have to save my master first. Su Hao patted Yan Lingji's shoulder and said, Okay, it's a deal. The two of them ascended step by step and flew towards the direction of Purple Orchid Pavilion. Bloodbath Castle White is not a room. The blood-clad Hobai, dressed in red, was not surrounded by a group of young girls. He enjoys this feeling very much. The girls lay beside the blood-clothed Marquis, completely intoxicated and dreaming. I saw the blood-clothed Marquis holding on to a woman's heavenly spirit cap with his big hand, and a purple breath was drawn from the girl's body, entering the blood-clothed Marquis's body. The woman was sucked into a withered body and collapsed on the ground, with a very enjoyable expression on her face. Dong dong dong. Da da da. The hurried footsteps outside the door shattered the enjoyment of the blood-clothed Marquis, and only the guards shouted, Marquis has an accident, the flame spirit lady in the dungeon has been robbed. Pop. The blood-dressed Marquis casually patted the table and stood up, asking, Did you find out who did it? The guard clasped his fists and bowed, saying, Report to the Marquis that the jailer reported that the King of Han personally took away the flame spirit G. However, a skin mask of the King of Han was found near the dungeon, so it must be someone pretending. You bunch of trash can't even look at a woman. The blood-clothed Marquis's eyes were filled with a murderous aura, 
and his red blood demon sword instantly unsheathed, piercing through the guard's chest through the window. He was killed on the spot by the blood-clothed Marquis, and his blood was also drained. At this moment, the vulture known as the Koya Raincoat Guest has appeared in front of the window. Only his shadow can be seen in the room, but no one is seen. The blood-clothed Marquis put away the red blood demon sword in his hand, glanced at it, and said, So I ku, go and investigate for me who is against the four evil generals of the night. Dare to touch the woman that Baife is interested in. The raincoat-clad guest wearing a bamboo hat in front of the window bowed and said, Report to the Marquis, I have found some information. The scout has come to report it. This matter may be related to a person named Su Hao. Su Hao. Who is this person? How dare he go against us at night? Find him and bring someone else's head to see me. The blood-clothed Marquis originally thought that the other party might be the power of Han Fei or the fourth prince of South Korea, but he didn't expect it to be an unknown person. At what level does he dare to offend the darkness? The Sui guest then revealed another news that shocked the blood-clothed Marquis even more, Marquis, do you know that Su Hao is not easy? He is a great master. The blood-clothed Marquis casually pushed away the young girl who had been pulled up and appeared by the window. He looked down at the Koya raincoat guest and said, What? This person is actually a great master. He is not just the pinnacle of the great master. This Su Hao is also a great master. He knows the great master who can be called a great master in South Korea, but he has no idea when a great master will emerge. The fear of the unknown is the most terrifying. Bai Fei instructed the Koya raincoat guest again, first, keep an eye on this person named Su Hao. Don't act rashly. I will personally meet him. Purple Orchid Pavilion Su Hao appeared in the purple girl's room, holding flame spirit Ji in his arms. At this moment, No Mu happened to be there too. She felt very unhappy when she saw Su Hao bringing back a strange woman. Seeing that this beauty was not as simple as Su Hao, Zi Nu felt a strange discomfort in her heart. The informant informed Zi N V of what had happened in the dungeon, as well as the recent incident of Su Hao changing his appearance and Ching Ji's investigation into the dungeon. She knows all of these. All these clues, when connected, point to Su Hao. Purple Girl suddenly realized that the flame spirit Ji that Su Hao had inquired about was this beautiful woman. She joked, What's up? Is Su Gongzi bringing a beautiful woman to my Purple Orchid Pavilion to introduce me to her? Su Hao found a chair to sit down and casually picked up his wine glass, saying with a smile, Boss, let me introduce you to my beloved disciple Yen Lingji. Good disciple, this is the owner of the Purple Orchid Pavilion, Lady Z. Yen Lingji stood beside Su Hao and nodded slightly at Zinu, Oh, you are Zinu. I heard from a girl outside that you have an affair with your master, are you really fake? Puzzy. Cough cough. Su Hao drank a glass of wine and sprayed it out directly. All right, all right, my dear disciple, you really know how to talk. Don't say anything next time. The purple girl glanced over and looked at their unusual relationship. She said bluntly, Miss, I misunderstood. Your master is here to repay the money. What can we have? I can testify that Mr. Su is definitely not that kind of person. No Mew poured wine and said. This is not a place without three hundred tails of silver, the more it is depicted, the darker it becomes. Without explaining, Su Hao quickly changed the topic and said, the boss said she wanted to repay the money, but I remembered at least. In the coming period, I still want to stay in the Purple Orchid Pavilion. How about you arrange a first dot class room for me? ZNV didn't agree, but just flashed around and reminded him, I heard that people at night have been looking for you lately. It's probably not appropriate for you to stay in my Purple Orchid Pavilion. Oh, really? I thought the quicksand organization was not afraid of night, but I didn't expect it to be as timid as a mouse. Wait, young Master Su, please stay behind. 
I saw a young man with white hair dressed in black and adorned with golden clothing appearing in the room. He still held a blue sword in his hand, with a cold and aloof expression that made people hesitant to approach. He was the one who spoke earlier, that is, Wei Zhuang, a disciple of the Ghost Valley sect. Su Hao remained calm at all, still drinking and glanced slightly at Wei Zhuang. Oh, I didn't expect Purple Orchid Pavilion to meet disciples of the Ghost Valley sect. Wei Zhuang didn't expect the young man to guess his identity. Although he appeared calm on the surface, he was deeply shocked in his heart and said, What kind of divine is this son? Chapter 6 Accepting the Flame Spirit Concubine and Teaching the Sacred Heart Technique You are listening at Novel Full Dot Audio. The shark toothed sword in Wei Zhuang's hand made a buzzing sound, and he lifted his long sword without saying hello and killed it. The sword energy was piercing towards the flame spirit Ji. Seeing that the beautiful woman was in danger, Su Hao shook his wine glass lightly, and the wine in the glass shot out, transforming into an ice spike that shook and retreated from the Wei Zhuang. With the blessing of Su Hao's full level holy heart technique, there are still sixty years of skill support only one move of Xian Bing Ju to repel Wei Zhuang. Bang 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 bang. With a loud bang, Wei Zhuang was smashed out the window and said, I didn't expect you to have such profound skills at such a young age. Surprisingly, you are a great master. Great, you have the strength to cooperate with us in quicksand. Su Hao casually hugged Yan Lingji and sat down, I'm so impressed, I wish us a pleasant cooperation. Yan Lingji picked up the wine jug and poured it for him. With watery eyes, she looked up at the man in front of her and said, Master, what was that move you called just now? I also want to learn it. It's not convenient here. I'll teach you in my room later. Nongyu bit her lips and watched as the man she had been longing for a few days forgot about herself when she had an apprentice. She doesn't have a taste in her heart. The fist hidden in the sleeve is hard and cutting out the nail in the flesh can cause bleeding. After all, it was the wrong payment. The young boy in front of me has such unparalleled martial arts skills. Nongyu also wanted to stay by Su Hao's side and learn from him, but she didn't say anything. Zi Nu also noticed this girl's thoughtfulness. She was even more amazed by Su Hao's martial arts cultivation, which was so incredible. A few days ago, the little white face who still didn't know martial arts amazed everyone today. Just one move alone suppressed the great master's Wei Zhuang with every move and gesture. So Su Hao's martial arts cultivation is at least above that of a great master. This seemingly ordinary young man has impressed everyone at this moment. Zi Nu's martial arts cultivation is only in the middle stage of her master's career. Faced with the strong Su Hao, she felt awe and even a little admiration. He's hiding deep enough. A scholar who pretended to be powerless when he was bullied by himself before. Now, in order to protect his disciple Yan Lingji, he actually took action to repel Wei Zhuang. Zi Nu still didn't trust this guy, so she gave Nong Yu a wink and looked at Su Hao with a charming expression, saying, Su Xiao, since we are cooperating, then our Purple Orchid Pavilion should treat your guests well. Don't you like music? How about this girl known you, who knows a little bit about music? How about being a maid for you? She wants known you to monitor Su Hao's every move. Don't forget, there are forces of the Iron Blood Alliance behind Su Hao. If there is the help of the Iron Blood Alliance, then the quicksand battle against the night sky has a few more chances of winning. Su Hao picked up the green wine bottle with a big hand and took a sip of the wine. He glanced slightly at the two beautiful women across from him and said, I'm sorry to ask for it, but will the jade-making girl be too difficult? Nongyu placed her small hand on her waist and bowed, saying, It's all up to sister to make the decision. I'll listen to you. Feeling everyone staring at her, especially Su Hao's eyes, she blushed and ran out in a panic. Wei Zhuang remained so cold and aloof, standing in front of the window, holding the shark-toothed sword in his hand, and said coldly, I have agreed to this matter for the time being. As for the future, I still need to discuss with Han Fei. 
Okay, I believe that with Han Fei's intelligence and talent, he won't refuse because I am also very interested in General Ji Wuya's invitation to cooperate. This is a warning. If Quicksand refuses to cooperate, Su Hao will not hesitate to choose to cooperate with Nightfall, as long as his chips are high enough, Bai Yifei will also be tempted. This can also save Tianzi. Choosing to cooperate with Lu Sha now is just to repay Nong Yu's life. Saving kindness. In Su Hao's world, whether it's quicksand or nightfall, they are all forces that can be won over. Two people raised their glasses and drank together to reach a cooperation. Zi Nu arranged two Tianzi sized rooms for Su Hao and Yan Lingji. Before entering the room, Yan Lingji followed Su Hao to his room. Master, you promised to teach me martial arts, let's do it now. I need to learn it now. Yan Lingji poured Su Hao a cup of tea and even offered to give him a back beating. The wrist blood pressure monitor is either stolen or stolen. Is she still the cold and aloof flame spirit Ji? Now she's just a little fangirl, staring at her master's profile. Su Hao pressed the tea cup onto the table, pointed to his shoulder, and said, here, and here, let me need it. Where is it, this place? Yen Lingji said coquettishly. Ah, yes, yes, please be gentle, I can't bear it. Su Hao, that's a pleasure. This is definitely worth it as an apprentice. At this moment, a mechanical sound came from his ear. Ding, the system has detected the trainee flame spirit Ji, with a talent value of 96, out of 100. Reminder. The host has completed the confirmation of the master-disciple relationship. If the martial arts teaching is successful, the apprenticeship task will be completed. Please complete the skill transmission as soon as possible. The system arrived at the right time. Su Hao casually wiped it and took out a blue martial arts secret book called Sacred Heart Technique from his pocket. He doesn't have any extra martial arts to pass on to Flame Spirit G now. For Su Hao, with the support of the system, he had already reached the full level of cultivation of the Sacred Heart Technique. Not to mention using the Sacred Heart Technique to create void space, Su Hao is no exception to the miraculous power of resurrection. It requires a lot of effort. Compared to Emperor Shirtian's thousand-year-old skill, his current sixty-year skill is still too weak. What he needs to do is to improve his martial arts skills, increase his lifespan, and cultivate the method of longevity through martial arts. Yan Lingji looked at Su Hao in a daze, not mentioning anything about teaching martial arts. She was no longer willing. Master, you just taught me martial arts, and now that I've had tea, I've been serving you for so long. Are you really capable? How could a man say no more? If it's not possible, it's also possible. Su Hao pretended to be angry and shook the secret script of Sacred Heart Technique in his hand. I'm just preparing to give it to you, don't forget it, he said before he could react, Flame Spirit Ji had already snatched it over and said, this is Master's Sacred Heart Technique for me. Of course it's for you. There are only moves on it. Come here and I'll pass on the Mind Technique to you orally. Yan Lingji flipped through the Sacred Heart Technique and just casually looked at it, she remembered all the moves and almost remembered the technique. She just didn't have any mental techniques or mnemonics, and practicing her moves was also in vain. Su Hao hooked his hand and gestured for Yan Lingji to approach. Good disciple, come closer and be careful that the walls have ears, he said Yan Lingji glared at him and followed closely. Even though Yan Lingji had ulterior motives towards her, she didn't want to expose her master's conspiracy. In his heart, he was even more coquettish and muttered, Did you become a master like this? What's on your mind, don't we know? Su Hao's face didn't turn red and his heart didn't jump. He said seriously, Hmm, what are you muttering about? Master, I'm not such a casual person. As a teacher, I just want to teach you martial arts hand in hand. What kind of bad thoughts can I have? Really? Yan Lingji said with half a doubt. Su Hao leaned against Yan Lingji's ear and told her all the mental techniques and mnemonics of the Holy Heart Technique. 
After finishing, he didn't forget to pat her shoulder and said, Good disciple, remember. What do you think, said Yen Lingji with a strange smile on her face she stimulated the true qi in her body, and the red breath converged, followed by a flame in the palm of one of her hands. This was not over yet. As her other hand spread out, a blue breath surged out, and the white ice thorns in her palm bloomed like pear blossoms. Yen Lingji had a cold and icy breath in one hand, while the other hand was as hot as flames. This talent is like the ice and fire double. In such a short period of time, I have comprehended the second layer of the holy heart technique, the Xian Ice Jew. Su Hao nodded slightly and said excitedly, Hmm, I am very pleased. It's strange that you have a dual heaven of ice and fire, disciple. That was taught well by my master, but unfortunately, I only understood the third level. Master, how many levels did you comprehend? Yan Lingji restrained her breath and snatched the teacup from Su Hao's hand, looking at him with a strange expression in her eyes. I always feel like something is wrong, and I can't say it myself. Su Hao put on an airs and pretended to be calm, saying, It's not too high, isn't it? This sacred heart technique has already reached its full level as a teacher. You are already very good. Whether you can cultivate to the master's level depends on your nature. Flame Spirit Ji stared directly at Su Hao, her face full of shock, what? The Holy Heart Technique is at full level. Master has mastered the miraculous power of resurrection in the Holy Heart Technique. Su Hao just stopped pretending. He had a showdown. He smiled slightly at the corner of his mouth and said, I just understand a little bit. Yan Lingji pressed her face against Su Hao's and casually pinched his face, saying, that master is not immortal. It's so hard for you to keep it from your disciple. Chapter 7 Successful Apprenticeship, Reward Returns 100 Times You are listening at Novel Full Audio. When meditating in the room at night, a mechanical sound came from Su Hao's ear. The virtual interface in front of me has also been illuminated. Ding, congratulations to the host for successfully completing the mission and receiving a hundred times critical strike return reward. Ding, congratulations to the host for receiving the reward Blue Underworld Spirit Fire, Ding, congratulations to the host for obtaining 5 De Huan Dan and 20 Blood Bodhi, Ding, congratulations to the host for obtaining the Holy Spirit Sword Technique, Ding, congratulations to the host for obtaining the Xian Yuan Sword, Ding, Congratulations to the host for obtaining 50,000 tails of gold. With so many treasures, it's just a hundred times the critical strike reward. If you can get 10,000 times the critical hit return, then you don't have to take off directly. Su Hao carefully examined the reward, and the blue underworld spirit fire should be a type of strange fire. The Huan Dan is used to enhance skills. Blood Bodhi can be used to enhance skills and heal injuries. This De Huan Dan and Blood Bodhi are both hard currency resources in the world of martial arts, more valuable than gold. And Su Hao also plans to regularly bleed the fire Chilin and start planting the Blood Bodhi tree, so that the Blood Bodhi can be managed enough. Moreover, this Holy Spirit Sword technique has four levels, from Sword 1 to Sword 20.3, and is an extremely exquisite sword technique. Especially Jian 23 is almost a primordial spirit that emerges from the body, with sword intent to attack enemies and great power to destroy heaven and earth. Finally, let's talk about the weapon rewarded by the system, which is actually the Xianyuan sword, an ancient artifact. With a big wave of his hand, Su Hao summoned the Xianyuan sword, which was carved with ancient inscriptions on its golden scabbard. The sword was slender, thick, and incredibly exquisite. Pulling out Xian Yuan's sword casually, one can feel the buzzing sound of the sword body, as if waiting for the master's call. The sword emitted a dazzling light as it unsheathed, accompanied by a shock wave of sword energy that shook the entire room. Good sword. It is truly an ancient artifact. Su Hao had not yet carefully studied the Xian Yuan's sword when a sound of prompts came from his ear. Ding, please reward the host. Do you accept inheritance? 
What is the inheritance in the system for signing for rewards? The system will inherit the full level Holy Spirit sword technique for the host, good guy. At the beginning, it's just 23 swords, right? You don't need to work hard to cultivate yourself, just pass it on at full level. Without hesitation, Su Hao clicked on the screen and said, accept the inheritance of Holy Spirit Sword Technique. As soon as he spoke, he felt a darkness before his eyes. When I opened my eyes, I had already arrived at the Sea of Divine Consciousness. The blue sword spectrum that appeared in the sky opened on its own, and golden words flew out of it, pouring directly into Su Hao's mind. At the same time, the Holy Spirit sword technique transformed into a small golden man and flew into his eyes. Su Hao whose body trembled and he shivered coldly. This is the Holy Spirit sword technique, truly exquisite and unparalleled. I could vaguely feel the fluctuation of sword energy around me, which shattered the teacups on the table and even alarmed the neighboring flame spirit Ji. Dong 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 Someone knocked on the door and heard her disciple Yen Lingji say, Master, what are you doing? Is this big commotion going to demolish the Purple Orchid Pavilion? Su Hao didn't even wear a shirt because he had just passed on the heat. That body full of tendons and flesh, as well as eight abdominal muscles, are all visible at a glance. Yen Lingji sat on her master's bed without saying hello. He was so frightened that his blush turned red. He sniffed his clothes and put them on. Why did you come in without knocking at the door? It's more and more unruly. If you don't obey me, I will fart. The voice of Yan Lingji's senior sister rang in Su Hao's ear, Hee hee, I bet you can't bear to part with me, master. At this moment, she didn't forget to sneak a glance, her mind filled with the robust figure of her master just now. I couldn't tell he still had such a great figure. Yen Lingji, who has always been aloof, blushed a bit, and the shadow of her abdominal muscles lingered in her mind. Su Hao tidied up his clothes and stood up. He casually took a sip from his glass and said, I don't sleep for most of the night. What are you doing in the teacher's room? Master, I want to tell you that I have already cultivated the sacred heart technique to the fifth level. Mmm, -mm, not bad, not bad. With time, your martial arts cultivation will definitely be able to reach another level. But my disciple has expended too much skill, I'm afraid it will take some time for this sixth layer. I don't know when I can save my master. When Yen Lingji said these words, she felt a bit sad, and at the same time, her gaze toward Su Hao was not pure. This is asking him for the treasure. Coincidentally, Su Hao received the reward of the Blue Underworld Spirit Fire, which is a strange fire that is very suitable for the flame spirit Ji to play with. There are also Blood Bodhi and the Huan Dan to enhance her martial arts. Yan Lingji glanced and saw the Xian Yuan sword on the table. She recognized the Xian Yuan sword at a glance, it was an ancient artifact. Master, I don't know how many treasures you have hidden. I didn't even see you carrying a sword. Why is the Xian Yuan sword in your hands? Su Hao looked up and straightened his chest, pretending to be calm, saying, This is what my teacher found on the ancient battlefield while traveling around the world. Hee <laughs> hee, what other treasures does Master have for me to share with my disciple, so that I can improve my cultivation as soon as possible? Oh, it depends on whether you listen or not. Su Hao's mature and steady appearance is not at all like a teenager, but more like an old man in his teens. Yen Lingji is only about the same age as him, and seeing that Su Hao's work style is completely different from what he can do at his age. And with the strength of his great master, could it be that Su Hao was a disciple of some overseas immortal who descended to earth? She nodded frantically at this thought and said, My disciple is obedient. I am the most obedient. Master, take out the treasure. It's okay, it's okay. I have a kind of strange fire here, which is even more powerful than your fire charm technique. Do you want to learn it? Yen Lingji's eyes lit up and she said, Master, do you still play with fire? What or strange fire? Oh, that's it. This strange fire is called the Blue Underworld Spirit Fire. 
As long as you master this strange fire, even the land immortal is not your opponent. A blue flame ignited in Su Hao's hand. Under his control, the blue underworld spirit fire transformed into various attack forms. Yan Lingji stared at the blue flame in her master's hand without turning her eyes, Master, I want. I want. What do you want? Su Hao deliberately put away the flames, pretending not to hear. I want this blue underworld spirit fire, please ask my master to teach me, okay? Yan Lingji grabbed Su Hao's arm and began to act coquettishly. Who can control this? Su Hao's blush. Okay, take it, pick it up. Yan Lingji casually took over the strange fire, while Su Hao passed on the blue underworld spirit fire heart technique taught by the system to her. She combined the red flames of her fire charm spell with the blue underworld fire to evolve a purple flame. The flame cyclone grew bigger and bigger, and in an instant, flame spirit Ji couldn't control it at all. Master, I can't hold on anymore, save me. Let's not play with fire, let's play big now. Su Hao casually emitted a white aura and said, Taste the power of my holy heart technique, the four extremes of heavenly heart, and the cold sky extremity. The whole room suddenly froze, and at the same time, the two were sucked into the void of time and space. The purple flame in Yan Lingji's hand was also melted at this moment. When the two of them came out of the illusion, Su Hao grabbed her little hand and sealed her acupoints at the same time. Not to let the blue underworld spirit fire in her body explode, causing the flame spirit Qi to become possessed. Thanks to my master's help, otherwise my life would be gone. Su Hao took a sip of tea and took out a large elixir from his pocket. My disciple, you are too weak. With your current peak martial arts cultivation, you can't even control the abnormal fire in your body. Your top priority now is to improve your martial arts cultivation and increase your skills. This is the Great Return Pill, which contains 60 years of power. You can at least break through the master's cultivation level by taking this to Huan Dan. Yan Lingji was so moved that tears welled up in her eyes. Master, is this the Great Return Pill for me? Su Hao pinched Yan Lingji's pretty face and casually took back the Dehuan Dan. Why? I don't want it. Then I'll eat it myself, he said as he spoke, he delivered it into his own mouth. Intentionally scaring one's own disciple. Who knew that Yan Lingji snatched the Dehuan Dan from her hand and swallowed it in one gulp, Master said it was for me, how could it not count? Yan Lingji, who forcefully swallowed the Dehuan Dan, felt her whole body burning hot, her face flushed, and her body still emitting heat. Flame Spirit Qi regulates Qi and absorbs the medicinal effects of the Huan Dan. Puzzy. Cough cough. She couldn't resist and spat out a mouthful of blood. Fortunately, with Su Hao's assistance, he casually took out a blood bodhi and fed it to Yan Lingji's mouth. At the same time, he took action to protect her heart meridian, and a blue true qi was transmitted into the body of flame spirit qi, helping her refine the dehuan dan in her body. After a stick of incense, Su Hao restrained his breath and finally achieved great success. Due to exhaustion, Yan Lingji collapsed into his arms, slightly opened her eyes, and looked up at the young man in front of her. Master, I broke through. Great, I am already at the pinnacle of the Grand Master. Flame Spirit G absorbed the power of the Great Return Pill, breaking through from the innate peak to the peak of the Grand Master, spanning four levels. This is something she wouldn't even dream of. Su Hao remained calm and pondered in his heart, indeed, everyone's physique is different, and their absorption of the Huan Dan skill is different. He has absorbed almost all of the 60-year-old Great Revival pill because he has taken the Wash Marrow pill and the system has opened up the meridians throughout his body. And the talent of Flame Spirit G is already quite good, absorbing some of the power of De Huan Dan, but only breaking through from the innate peak to the peak of the master. Yan Lingji was too excited and directly pounced on Su Hao, pinching his pretty face. Master, hurry up and say, Give up all the treasures you have. Chapter 8 
Blood Cloth Fortress Goes to Appointment, Buy You a Treasure. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. De Colois A.R.A. Trom Quatrin Lay Text. Chapter 9 The Tragic Death of Tienza and Baifei's Defeat. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. The Blood Cloth Marquis casually unleashed countless ice vines, spreading in the air and directly attacking the unmatched ghost. Even his diamond bone was pierced through his arm by an ice thorn. Starting from under the feet, the unparalleled ghost was frozen, revealing just one head. Tienzo looked up slightly at the blood cloth marquee, his eyes filled with anger, but he was powerless. The Baiyue treasure is related to the Tsanglong's seven mansions. That's all the crown prince knows, he said, oh, that's great, but unfortunately he still has to die. The blood cloth marquee broke his promise and lifted his red blood demon sword, unleashing a red sword aura. As the unparalleled ghost was about to be silenced with a sword, its entire head would fall to the ground. A resounding sound. I saw a golden light slash, instantly breaking the sword energy of the blood cloth marquee. Following him, he shot out a golden giant sword and severed the iron chain on the body of the unsurpassed ghost. At the same time, the flames surged into the sky, and the boy in purple rode a flaming unicorn and flew towards him. He was still holding a beautiful woman in a golden black short skirt in his arms. The newcomers are flame spirit Chi and Su Hao's disciples. In addition to being shocked, the blood clothed Marquis also smiled arrogantly and said, The vulture has done a good job. It seems that his letter has been delivered, and you have finally arrived. You are Su Hao, the assassin who rescued Flame Spirit Ji is you. Two people exchanged a glance. Su Hao jumped off the fire Chilin and threw the blood Bodhi in his hand to the Wushuang ghost. Eat him, your injury will heal soon, he said Wushuang ghost took the fiery red blood Bodhi, looked at Yen Lingji and nodded, choosing to believe Su Hao, and casually ate it. Thank you, please save my master from the fairy. In his eyes, Su Hao, who appeared riding a divine beast like the fire Kirin, was a fairy descending to the mortal world. Su Hao gave a glance to Yen Lingji and said, Leave it to me, blood clothes Marquis. You too can save people. He spread his hands and slowly walked towards the blood clothes Ho. White true chi surrounds the body like flowing water, transforming into a barrier of true chi. The blood clothed Marquis was not afraid, but rather shocked. Grand Master, I was really surprised that your young man has such cultivation at a young age. I saw the Xian Yuan sword in his hand again, as well as the Mount Fire Chilin. This son is indeed not an ordinary person. As Su Hao spread out his hands, he had already appeared beside the blood clothed Marquis in a blink of an eye. The two of them brushed past each other and said, Let him go. I could have spared you from dying. Arrogant, this is the blood clothed fortress, not the place where you acted recklessly. General, what are you waiting for? Under the command of the blood clothed marquee, as the surrounding mechanisms opened and closed, stone gates opened one after another, filled with soldiers holding long spears. They were surrounded. The leader is also General Ji Wuye. He laughed up and said, Kid, last time you pretended to be Bai, you didn't deceive me. Today, I will take your life. What are you waiting for? Catch him, General. I will be rewarded heavily. A group of dead soldiers rushed up from the secret passage like mad dogs in the dungeon. Su Hao waved his head slightly and lifted his sword, saying in a loud voice, the second move of the sacred heart technique, Xian Bing Ju. He had a chilling aura all over him, and a shockwave of energy surged through him to repel everyone. The dead on the scene were frozen at a speed visible to the naked eye, transforming into ice sculptures and unable to move. The fifth move of the sacred heart technique, shocking eye robbery, break it for me. I saw a red beam of light shooting out of Su Hao's eyes, his gaze as terrifying as a laser. Glancing at all the ice sculptures, they instantly fell apart. Bang bang bang. Boom 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 boom. 
all the dead turned into a pool of white ice crystals floating in the wind. Seconded. Ji Wuye was shaken and thrown into the wall, covering her chest and spitting blood. She stood up and said, how could it be that this person has such supernatural powers? What kind of martial arts is this, blood clothes marquee? It's even more terrifying than your ice sting. I didn't expect your holy heart technique to reach such a pinnacle, said the blood clothed marquee in shock. Su Hao waved his hand and said, now it's your turn to fight. He leapt forward and charged straight towards the blood clothed marquee. Unexpectedly, the blood clothed marquee rolled up his ice vine and used Ji Wuya as a flesh shield to block Su Hao, while he himself appeared behind Tianzi. Su Hao lifted a kick and kicked Ji Wuya, then followed suit. The general was thrown out again and fell into a mess. Oh, Bai Fei is not your bastard. I have nothing to do with you, general. Tianzi's whole body was frozen, and just one head was exposed. You go quickly, don't worry about me, he said, Master, I'm here to save you, Yan Lingji dared not act rashly, you guys come up and give it a try, see if you're fast or I'm fast, Bai Yifei said, pinching Tianzi's neck. He knew that Su Hao had hidden his strength, and fighting him left him feeling uncertain, so he chose to take advantage of it. Not only for treasures, but also for great beauties. So the blood clothed Marquis threatened Su Hao and said, if you want to save this useless crown prince, you can, but I want Yan Lingji to exchange it. Ah, uh, ah, uh, I'm going to smash your head, said the unparalleled ghost angrily, restoring his strength, hee hee, you're looking for death, silly guy. Blood-clothed Ho casually cut off Tianzi's arm with a sword. Faced with the ruthlessness of the blood-clothed Marquis, both of them dared not act rashly and looked at Su Hao in unison. Now only he can come forward and help. Master, what are you waiting for? Hurry up and take action, Yan Lingji pleaded emotionally as she spoke, she walked towards the blood-clothed Marquis, intending to exchange herself for Tianzi. Su Hao waved his arm around Flame Spirit Ji and killed the blood-clothed Marquis, with me around, no one can move my disciple. He wielded his sword and flew after the blood-clothed Marquis, attempting to rescue Tianzi. At the critical moment, the blood-clothed Marquis used Tianzi as his flesh shield to resist Su Hao's attack. He casually threw out the Tianzi while freezing him, and the ice vine pierced through his body, leaving him in a state of fragmentation. The Xian Yuan sword on the ground flew up and killed, but was blocked by the blood clothes Marquis and pierced through his shoulder. Taking advantage of this opportunity, the blood clothed Marquis fled with Ji Wuya and said, Kid, I have recorded the revenge of this sword. You should figure out how to escape. Yan Lingji watched as Tianzi shattered the ground and tried to pick it up to find his body parts. Master, where are you? Bang bang bang. Boom 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 boom. Before she could pick up the broken ice on the ground, the dungeon began to shake. Bai Yifei triggered the mechanism and blew up the entire dungeon. The surrounding walls instantly exploded, the dungeon was collapsing, and water from the underground passage poured back into the dungeon. The three of them were submerged in the water, and even if they were not smashed to death, they would drown. Su Hao picked up the flame spirit Ji casually and said, Let's leave here first, disciple. I will avenge you. Watching Yan Lingji dying in the water. She is determined to die. Su Hao didn't want her to die, so he did artificial respiration for Yan Lingji. Foolish disciple, you still have me. Su Hao kissed her directly to save her. Follow and jump onto the back of the fire Chilin pulling the unmatched ghost up to swim. The unparalleled ghost crazily collided with the ceiling, attempting to break through the dungeon and kill. He tried several times but failed. Su Hao let out a loud shout, sword. The underwater Xian Yuan sword flew up and fell into his hands. Su Hao held the Xian Yuan sword in one hand and embraced the flame spirit Qi in the other. He lifted his sword and said in a loud voice, Sword 23. I saw a golden shimmering phantom soaring up, carrying a majestic sword aura behind me. 
the primordial spirit broke through the dungeon as if it had left the body. Su Hao rode a fiery chilin and flew out, followed by an unparalleled ghost. At this moment, Yan Lingji also stood up and casually hugged Su Hao's neck, Master, I promise you to live well. Is this my good disciple? Come and take a blood bodhi to suppress surprise. Chapter 10 The New Jing Palace Accepts Apprentices You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. The Main Hall of the Xinjing Palace King Han and Princess Honglian received Su Hao and others alone. The old man heard that the immortal riding the fire Kirin passed by Xinjing. He wants to see what this fairy really looks like. Early in the morning. Under the leadership of Han Fei, Su Hao entered the main hall of the palace. The reason why Su Hao agreed to allow Han Fei to enter the palace is because he promised to introduce his sister Honglian to him. At first, Han Fei thought that Su Hao was greedy for the beauty of Princess Honglian, but the more he thought about it, the more wrong it became. He was not satisfied with the beauty of Yan Lingji. Actually, Han Fei didn't know that Su Hao was trying to recruit Princess Honglian. Han Fei took the initiative to lead the way and walked to the door when he saw King Han warmly welcoming him outside. Father, Prince Su has arrived. The King of Han couldn't wait to go out and greet him. He grabbed Su Hao's big hand and excitedly said, You are a disciple of an overseas immortal, wandering to my Xinjiang. Good guy. The King of Han has heard the crazy rumors on the street and mistook Su Hao for an old immortal from the Immortal Mountain. The old man even looked back and didn't find the legendary fire Qilin, which was a bit disappointing. Shang Xian, where is your mount? I heard it's an ancient divine beast, the fire Qilin. I want to see it, can you give me a chance? Princess Honglian, dressed in a pink dress, grabbed King Han and glanced awkwardly at Su Hao. Father, they also want to take a look, she said at this moment, Princess Honglian is still such an ancient and mysterious, completely untapped beautiful girl. Innocent and adorable, Su Hao felt embarrassed to refuse. Han Fei followed suit, clasping his fists and bowing, saying, Su Xiao, I only saw this fire Qilin once last time at the Purple Orchid Pavilion. Where did you hide her? Su Hao pretended to be very mysterious and waved his hand, saying, Such a divine beast can't easily meet people. If you want to read that book, I'll give you a chance. Pop 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 pop. I saw him applaud and clap his hands, loudly saying, Aren't the wicked animals coming out yet? Hiss, hiss. Roar, roar. A burst of flames appeared outside the door, and out of nowhere, a fire unicorn appeared to scare away the guards. The imperial guards held weapons and took on defensive postures, protect your majesty. King Han saw the fire Qilin flying towards Su Hao and lying obediently at his feet. The golden claws, covered in bright red fur, with golden eyes and extremely sharp fangs, occasionally make a roaring sound. This is the legendary fire Qilin. King Han carefully observed and said, This is a divine beast, so powerful. With such a mount, young master Su is truly a divine person. Su Hao lifted the head of the fire Qilin and glanced at the King of Han, saying, The King of Han must not have gone to the palace to see the fire Qilin so easily. He guessed that it must be Ji Wuya and Bai Yifei behind the scenes. The matter of blood clothes castle was suppressed by Bai Yifei, and he was very unwilling. So, using the legend that Su Hao was a disciple of immortals, Lady Mingzhu instigated King Han to summon him into the palace. Firstly, it was to dig a pit for Su Hao, debunking the legend that he was a disciple of immortals, which caused King Han to be furious and kill him. Secondly, the knight is preparing for the Pearl Lady of the Blue Sea Tide Fairy to come out and deal with him. King Han respectfully invited Su Hao to take his seat and said, To be honest, if the immortal is truly a disciple of an immortal, I would like to seek the elixir of immortality. There is a peerless martial art called the Sacred Heart Technique, which can certainly increase the lifespan of others. This won't defeat Su Hao. But he really doesn't have the elixir of immortality. Su Hao plans to play by the trick, 
and his other purpose in entering the palace this time is to recruit his disciples. At this moment, Su Hao glanced at Princess Honglian and muttered to himself, System, how do you think this woman's talent value is? Ding, the system has detected that Princess Honglian has a talent value of 92 and can be accepted as an apprentice. Good guy. The system really touched him. This talent value must have reached the standard. Su Hao planned to accept his disciple, but now Princess Honglian has agreed. So Su Hao came up with a solution and started with King Han. He first teased King Han and said, as the ruler of a country, do you also believe in the illusory thing of immortality? I certainly believe that having an ancient divine beast as a mount is enough to prove the existence of an immortal immortal. Oh, the old man is right, but you can't pass it on lightly. If you want to live forever, it depends on your sincerity. Upon hearing Su Hao's words, King Han believed that immortality seemed to be a play and believed it to be true. As for sincerity, the old man believed that Su Hao was testing him. How can Shangxian prove my sincerity? Su Hao picked up a glass of wine personally brought by Mrs. Hu and pretended to say, I have been wandering here, and I happen to have a new disciple. I see that your daughter, Princess Honglian, is talented, so why don't you practice with me? The fox's tail is exposed. Han Fei suddenly realized and leaned over to Su Hao, muttering softly, Su Xiao, you mentioned introducing my sister to you. So what you're thinking about is her being your disciple. He's not stupid, of course he doesn't believe in Su Hao's immortality. Equally unhappy is Princess Honglian. Before King Han could agree, Princess Honglian pouted and glared at Su Hao, saying, Father, don't believe him. This guy is just a scammer. What kind of fire chilin and immortality medicine are scammers? King Han's face turned ugly as he pulled Princess Honglian to his side and said, Nonsense, how can you keep up with the fairy? Su Hao remained calm and even smiled a bit smugly, If you don't believe me, why don't you show me the power of immortality? I could have cast spells to increase your longevity. As soon as these words were spoken, everyone present stared at the young man drinking on the chair. They certainly don't believe that Su Hao has this ability. It must be some kind of illusion, a deliberate trick to deceive people. Han Fei was even more curious and asked, The crime of Su Xiao deceiving you is to be beheaded, you have figured it out. Whether it's true or not, King Han is no longer calm. I saw the old man clasping his fists and bowing in front of Su Hao, saying, The immortal has such supernatural powers. I also want to be a few decades younger and have a strong body. When King Han spoke, he looked at Mrs. Hu and knew that he was not in good health, and that he was unable to handle matters between men and women. Su Hao pressed the wine glass in his hand onto the table and looked down at the King of Han in front of him, saying, Come on, I will give you a lifespan of ten years, so that you can be ten years younger. He waved his hand and pressed it onto the heavenly spirit cap of King Han, and a white stream of true qi on his arm was transmitted into his body at a visible speed to the naked eye. At the same time, with the blessing of the sacred heart technique, Su Hao urged the true qi to wrap around the entire body of the King of Han. The old man's skin has become shiny at a visible speed, with fewer wrinkles. The most obvious thing is that his white hair on the head has slowly turned black. Su Hao restrained his breath and left Han Wang Tian Lingai with his big hand. All right, how does the old man feel? Han Wang stood up and stretched lazily, looked at his arms left and right, and took two steps at the same time. With an excited smile on his face, he said, Ha ha ha, the immortal has indeed regained his strength when he was young. Han Fei looked carefully and even touched Han Wang's hand with his hand clearly feeling that his old big hand was tense a lot. At this moment, he looked ten years younger. He couldn't even believe his own eyes, Father Wang had really become younger. Su Xiao, what have you done to my father's king? What kind of spell are you using? Before he could return, the charming and charming wife, Lady Ming Zhu, in a black lace dress, walked in. The appearance that harms the country and the people, and the devil's figure make people fantasize. 
I didn't expect her to take care of herself so well. A young woman in her thirties made Su Hao's heart itch. Madame Mingzhu appeared beside King Han, staring at Su Hao with a smile and saying, Congratulations to the king, you have a miraculous hand that brings you back to life. You are more than ten years younger. I heard that someone in the martial arts world has reached the pinnacle of practicing the sacred heart technique, which not only increases lifespan but also brings life back to life. I didn't expect Su Xiao to have this magical ability at a young age. The two of them exchanged a glance, and Su Hao stared at Lady Mingzhu with a smile and said, Madam, you're just a small trick. King Han saw Su Hao and Lady Mingzhu flirting, and he was very unhappy, but he didn't dare to get angry. The old man took Princess Honglian to Su Hao's side and said, I don't know anything about it. I didn't expect that the immortal has such magic power. My daughter will become your apprentice. After seeing Su Hao's abilities, Princess Honglian was actually moved. But feeling embarrassed to speak, he still said arrogantly, what father said doesn't count. Anyway, it's not what I said. This palace doesn't want to worship him as a teacher. Su Hao couldn't bear it anymore and waved his hand as he turned to leave. The old man is full of sincerity, but we don't accept disciples who are too stupid and disobedient, he said, Humph, you bastard, who are you calling a fool? Someone, suppress him for me. This palace will use a whip to beat him to death. Princess Honglian likes to whip people when she is unhappy, and the more she looks at Su Hao, the more she wants to hit him. Pop. King Han slapped Princess Honglian with a backhand and said, Shut up, how can you keep up with the fairy? Woo woo, you actually hit me for the sake of a stranger. Father, I hate you. Princess Honglian ran out with her face covered. Everyone was stunned. Su Hao's lips slightly curved upwards, revealing a hint of a smile. Don't worry, old man. Princess Honglian, this disciple, will be handed over to me.